I'm going to give y'all what y'all want today. Leaf twig versus the leaf thorn. This is the one I'm actually going to give away. The one I first had, it rattled a lot and uh, cut the shit out of my face pretty much every time I used it. Just couldn't get a good shave. Well, they sent this one back to me and thank you, Brooke over at Leaf Shaves. Um, thanks for sending that to me. One of my favorite razor blades, a Gillette Nasset. Executive Man by Sterling Soap. Cannot recommend that soap enough. Simpson Synthetic T3 Knot. This knot is 26 millimeters. It's huge. All right, so I'm gonna lather up because it's so cold outside. I just wanna make sure, you know, I hydrate my face very well. I do have some bloom water in that sterling soap. Now I don't have any pre-shave oil, so I use the water from the pot. Whoops, the water from the pot. I think it's a poor man's way to not adding something else to your shaving regimen. So I use this to help cushion my face. Let's get that off my hands here. All right. So I'm just going to go right in and grab some soap. I'm going to try to melt this soap. Okay. Ooh. All right, as you're going to see, this stuff's really going to pop pretty quick. Unlike the Tobbs, this uses beef talons which I like the tallows. I do, I think you can feel a difference. All right, so I'll go back in and, you know, put some more on that here, but I'm gonna load these razors first and uh, then I'll, you know, go back in and relather this. So I'm just going to snap this blade, the Gillette Nasset, tear it in half, however you do it, doesn't matter. And I'm going to load these razors. Now I know for me, how to use these is just, okay, as high as you need it. Now if you see on this to focus on it. You see on these, when I break them, there's a bent edge. That bent edge, I'm gonna put facing down. So, as you can see, and you just push it right on these two posts, and it's loaded. You can see the tabs are pointing down, okay? And then just tighten it up. I still make sure they're aligned. I back off once. Yep, that looks aligned. This razor kind of scares the shit out of me, so I take a little more time with it. Uh, twigs, same thing, you know. Undo it. Take out your blade, and same thing, I you know, put those tabs pointing down. I tend to get a great shave by doing that. And if I don't do it, I don't get it. There we go. Okay. So it's tabs are on the end and I'm just going to lower it down. Okay. I tend to always back things off and then back down. All right, so those two are loaded. So, put some more water on the tips. Oh yeah. 
Now this is how I generally face lather. I know a lot of people, you know, fly through this step. Mm. This is what's important. If you're not getting quality shaves, this is probably one of the things you're not doing. And I'm still hydrating my face. Do what I did. Load, you know, start a cushion on your face. And then, you know, load all your equipment. Get set up for your shave. Do that as you get that time to let all that set up on your face, which is a great tip. All right, so I'm gonna go, let's see. I'm going to go the thorn on this side, twig on the other side. So let's go on with the thorn first. I'm gonna cut in and you know, I find a spot on my ear and I just bring it over. And that's where I cut it. Okay. Wow. Mm. I find this thorn razor and the twig, I can do a lot more when I'm detailing, you know, around my nose and lips, and that's nice. Now I'll get that rest of it with the twig. All right. Now you might as well, let's just finish up with can see how beautiful how beautifully that picks up and you know very easy to clean out you don't have to clean it out under running water just fill your bowl up and you know give it a little wiggle all right twig this side same thing find your spot over here and I just come over Okay. That was a lot of, a lot of hair. I had about, you know, two days, had two days of growth. 
with a two pass shave. And that was about two days of growth. So it, you know, it was pretty thick. And that, uh, she's always listening. That's Alexa. We have Siri as well. Oh uh, gosh, so yeah, yeah, talk about some big brother stuff. Ah, uh, there you go. It's funny, uh, I don't know if you notice, but shit you're talking about with your friends, family, whatever, uh, starts popping up, you know, when you're doing internet searching and all that, so say I shit's real. All right, so let's go back in for another pass. Uh, good shave on both sides. Didn't uh, feel anything funny by either of them. Um, probably not going to do, oh, maybe I'll, okay, so you can see this one, I, I just basically just go on dry right from the brush, but then I go down and I get some water on the tips and I'm, you know, I'm going to lather it back up and I'll show you a little trick after you do this step, but you got to do this step first. You got to get that. I like to get that cushion again, even though your face is real slick after the first pass, but I just like to get that cushion going again. And I truly believe this is why I don't cut myself as often as a lot of other people. And you can notice Spend more time down here. That's my sensitive spot. You know what I mean? That's where I struggle. If I'm gonna cut myself or get, have irritation, it's down here, especially underneath my jawline. I generally get a little bit of irritation every shave, but to the point where I can use that alum block. You know, it's not red or anything. It's just you know a little agitated because that's really sensitive here. All right. So when I get to this point. I take, squeeze out some of the soap from here, you're not hurting your brush, and start putting that on. As you can see, I mean, that stuff, it's like whipped cream, and that's exactly what you want at this point. You want whipped cream, baby. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. Come on now. Ooh, really? That's really good. Yeah. So as you can see, my second shave, it's already starting out real well. So let's go against or across the grain. That was a little cold. That was a cold pass. What a great razor that is, now that it actually works. Just glides right through my neck hair, where a lot of razors, that's where I get a lot of, you know, the razor jumps a lot and whew, can cause problems for me. All right, the twig on this side. Yeah, same thing, just glides right through that lower neck area is where I struggle with razors a ton. So what a smooth shaver as well. Um, I think that's all I'm gonna have to do.
thought I saw a little bit up there, but yeah, I didn't. Okay. All right. So setting those aside. How was the shave? Well, I gotta tell you, both of those are very smooth. Mm. Felt like. I like there's some there. All right, let's uh Yeah, there's some right here. Below's good. You know what? I think the if I had to say which one gave a closer shave, it's got to be it's got to be the Thorn Razor. Um it was a closer shave. Never had a, the chance to give both these razors a great comparison because, you know, my last Thorn razor was shit. You know, now I get to compare it to the Twig razor. And I gotta say, this one right here, the Thorn, it outperformed the Twig razor today using a gelatin acid. Uh, it for surely did. This side is definitely more smooth than the other side. Um, not going to go down and do a touch-up pass. I, that to me is really good. A uh, little sting up top. A little right here. A little right here. Not up top. Yeah. Little right here. Little there. None here. Mm, not around there. Little down here. Yeah, the twig side. Isn't it smooth? I can definitely tell running this alum block over it. Uh, irritation wise from, I should say feedback from this, I'd say they're about the same. Um, yeah, I'd say they're about the same. I, I, that's all I can say. That's the only thing I can, just, that's the only way I can describe it. So, let me, uh, this off here okay I'm gonna go in with some Thayer's witch hazel face toner okay all right get that down let me grab oops Grab some Nivea shaving balm here. I just go in wet. Wow. All right. Now I just let all this air dry. And I today the Thorn Razor definitely won. There's uh, no question about that. It definitely won today. So the winner today was definitely the Thorn Razor over the Twig. You know, they're both, this is their mild aggression razor and this one is their medium plus aggression. Um, yeah, uh, definitely a little more aggressive, which, you know, a little more, uh, I'll just cut down a little more aggressive, meaning they both were smooth. I really... Could I tell the difference between both these? Not really. Uh, couldn't really tell that. How smooth it is right now, I can definitely tell. Uh, the thorn side is a little more, you know, a little closer than the twig side. And, you know, what a great comparison. Uh, the first time that the thorn razor 
has ever outperformed the twig and my shaving videos. All right, so generally, you know, after I get done, I, whatever I used for my face that day, you know, I'm just cleaning up. Um, shave wise, I'm glad I uh, Leaf Shave sent me a new thorn razor to try because I was a little heart bent. You ever, you know, received a razor and you, you know, you were so wanting to like it and just didn't work or anything you buy for that matter. Um, you know, you want to like it, but you just, yeah, you don't see the value in it. Yeah, that's how that thorn razor was for me. I, luckily, I didn't have to pay for it, you know, but they did send out another one. So, again, thank you, uh, the staff over at, uh, I'm just removing this. Mine tend to stick on the top. Do your guys' do that? A little crazy. Stuck under that thing. There it goes. Flip that over and dry that. So, yeah, unloading. This guy. It does have magnets on it, which makes it really easy to uh, help you load for sure. You know, and I usually, well, not usually, I always under warm water just use an old toothbrush and I just go around them real quick. Get all that soap off there. Okay. That one's done, you know what I mean? I get them like that, and I'll flip them upside down on a rag and let it air dry. Same thing with this one. I do this every time. It's one thing, now, well, you know, sometimes I might do a better job than others, but it happens every time. I mean, I allow time to shave. I'm like never that big of a hurry where I'm not going to you know, clean my equipment. I just like that in everything I do. So, got all that cleaned up. Um, here's a nice thing. When I'm cleaning up, generally, is when I'm really thinking about the shave. I'm, you know what I mean? I can feel, you know, good or bad things going on on my face. All that has dried now, and I can get a better idea or understanding about that shave. Um, probably gonna do a head and a face shave with that thorn razor um, with a Gillette Nasset in it. That tends to be a blade, meaning the Gillette Nasset blade. It tends to be the one that uh, I'm gravitating to more so than the Astra. I mean, I got Astra sitting right out. So I don't know why I'm going to them. I mean, I don't know why I'm going to these, but it, I'm getting a really good shave with it. You know what I mean? This one, I'm, I just, uh, it's just hard. The Nasset's popping up a lot more. So, yeah, so now it's been Probably, where are we at now? Yeah, it's probably been five, ten minutes, you know what I mean? Look at the shave. This is the twig side. Over here is the thorn side. I mean, glass-like finish in two passes. Two. No three passer. I, I could I gone with a three pass shave? Yeah, I could, but man, this is very acceptable. So I think a lot of people have been commenting and saying, you know, they're getting irritation on their neck or their cheeks. I, one thing I gotta ask yourself, are you doing a traditional three pass shave every time. Cause I don't think you need to. And one doesn't, you know, 
I, people have commented below, and maybe we should do that this time. Comment below and see. Do you go for BBS every time? I don't. Um, two passes is generally what I go with. And I believe that that's why I don't get as much irritation as probably some of you other people do, because I'm not like, I mean, I can, I mean, I could stretch it, pull it and get it closer, but I don't want ingrown hairs either or irritation. It's one thing to think about, you know, if you're having problems, you're getting irritated a lot more. The greatest thing you can buy is the Allen block. Buy one of these. These, uh, this is over a year old now. These things last. Um, I, I have links to it below out of everything I sell on my affiliate links at, um, on uh, Amazon. The Allen block is my number one seller uh, out of all my affiliate links. Uh, what comes next is the Rockwell 6C and the uh, Recur 34C. Those sell a lot. Twigs, they sell a ton too, but not as much as the Rockwell and the Recur 34C. Just saying. Um, but yeah, so getting ready to close all this down, that's pretty much you know what I do. But keep that in mind. If you're having problems with you know, with skin irritation, maybe don't try to get BBS every time. Because think about it, when you're using a cartridge razor, you were never acquiring that closeness of a shave that you're now getting with a safety razor. I mean, I know I'm not. I could never get a shave like this without having a shit ton of irritation uh, and if you're trying to get rid of ingrown hairs on your neck I mean I've shown pictures of my neck before I started using a safety razor and it's night and day especially my upper lip I only shave even when I don't you know have anything growing up here I only shave down okay I've only just started going across the grain with the leaf shades razor the twig I, I've only just now started doing that pass. And even when I do that with this mild razor, and I think everyone will agree, that's a hugely mild razor. Just shaking the water off. You know what I mean? You guys do that? You can feel water coming out. All right, so anyhow, keep that in mind. So. This is the kind of stuff that I think about. So from your comments below, um, I read every one of them. Don't think that I don't. Um, I read every single comment I get. I think that's important. And I read every single one of them. I usually, if I have some time, um, I'll even shoot you, you know, back a little comment. I just don't always give a thumbs up, so. Yeah, so if you want to get a better shave, don't go for BBS. But let's do this. Comment down below and tell us, you know, let's start a discussion. And tell us, do you go for BBS every time? Do you just go one pass, two passes? Or do you go for BBS? And how often do you get skin irritation when you do? This shave right here will last a day easily. Two days, for me, my hair grows, it grows fast. I mean, mine grows fast. I'm a hungry Italian, so Hungarian, Italian, you know, I've got thick skin. And we got some turkey in us too, so, or Turkish in us too. So, I get a lot of, I get a lot of, a lot of growth. Not as thick as some people, but a lot more than most. So, yeah. My shaving videos so don't forget to comment down below and hey if you want to see my first comparison of these two watch it right here um, I'll see you around I 
actually going to go back and look at that one and see how they did because today Thorn Razor won.